you're such an expert at like what to do. Um, can you sort of maybe just speak about the sort of steps that you do to, to take a, you know, to start your paintings or, you know, what, what, what yeah. do you do? Yeah. So basically the most important thing is getting the right image because I mean, I'd love to paint them directly from my head, but you can't, you need to have some sort of reference material. So there's quite a few photographers. I, I use I can use my own photos when I've got some really cool images, but there's quite a few photographers online that are happy for you to use their work. I mean, you've got to pay some of them. Um, so what I'll do is if I'll see something that sort of like speaks to me, like an element of a photo or something, I think that's actually going to work really well as a painting. And I get a really excited feeling inside about the image. And I think, oh, I really want to paint that. I want to sort of enhance this area change this area and just turn it into an artwork. So that's the most important thing is finding the correct image. Um, so I'll get in contact with the photographers, they'll give me the images, and then I'll just sort of like design a composition online um, through Procreate or, or Adobe Photoshop. And I'll just sort of get like a basic understanding of how, how the artwork will look before I attempt to do it. And then it's, yeah, you just draw out the subject, get all your proportions correct, and I start with the eyes. So I'll literally spend maybe like two or three days if I'm doing a leopard or a lion and I'll make sure the eyes are as accurate as possible. So you'll have usually what will happen is you'll have this massive uh, white canvas with these two eyes looking at you. And then I just sort of develop the painting from that. So you just, I work in layers. So the first layer of paint is always very sort of like soft and um, watered down. Um, because I work in oil paint, there's a rule. So you can't paint thick oil paint over thick oil paint. You've got to sort of like build your layers up. So you start very thin and then you gradually build up the layers as the painting develops. So yeah, that's sort of my process. It's a very sort of like shortened down description of it, but that's the way I work really. And, and like how long do you sort of sit down, you know, at each kind of sitting? Um, a painting generally takes about two to three weeks in generally. So I'll sit usually from about, I don't know, half nine in the morning until about up to seven, eight. I mean, I used to be able to work for a lot longer in the evenings, but I get to a point at the end of the day where I literally can't concentrate anymore. Like I just, I'm losing concentration when I'm putting down the brush strokes and that's when I know I need to stop. You know, my mind sort of wonders and then you just sort of, you need to concentrate when you're doing it. And when I can't concentrate, that's when I stop. So yeah, that's a, it's like a job, you know, I treat it like a job. I've got to put in all those hours from the morning until the evening. And, and like, are you, like, are you sitting down? Are you standing? Like, is it a mix? Like, yeah, it's a mix. I, I, to be honest, I sit down a lot more than I stand. Um, just purely because I'm actually quite close to the canvas a lot of the time, you know. Um, when I'm doing really large paintings, I tend to stand a bit more. Um, but I like to, um, you know, I'm sitting down and then I'll stop and I'll get up and I'll walk away. I need to look at the painting from a distance every sort of couple of hours or whatever. So I'll stand up and I'll just go and look at it and just study it and see what areas need changing, what things are working, what things are, and, and what the next sort of process or the next step should be in the artwork. Because it's like, I look at it like as a jigsaw puzzle, you know, like doing a painting is like literally putting in all the pieces in the right position. So, you know, like when you do a puzzle, you start with the outside and you just sort of work your way in. And it's the same with a painting, you know, you've got your subject and you just sort of have all your big blocked in colors is sort of like, um, how would I describe it? It's, it, it is like you subtracting the subject down to its barest form, if you know what I mean. So you're looking at colors, really, you're, not, you're just looking at colors, shapes, lines, and then you just sort of build the, sub, the, the painting up from that. 